Today, we're gonna reverse Lionel Messi's career, which means he's gonna be starting off as an up-and-coming wonder kid at Inter Miami. Eventually, Messi's gonna go on to play for PSG and Barcelona to see if he can become the GOAT even if we start his career backwards. But for now, he's making a name for himself in his rookie season in the MLS. And with the help of his mentor, David Beckham, Messi would impress the world, scoring 25 goals and winning the MLS Player of the Season award at just 17 years old. At this point, every top club in the world has their eyes on Lionel Messi, but since he's only 5 feet tall, no club is willing to sign such a small player that may not get any bigger. However, on the last day of the transfer window, PSG would take a chance with young Messi and shock the world by signing him on a free transfer. It was Messi's dream to play in Europe, but once he got to PSG, it was hard for him to fit in because he was just very shy around his new teammates. However, with the help of the growth medicine that PSG was given, Messi, he was still able to get playing time and scored 6 goals in his first season with the club. But if Messi doesn't figure out a way to get comfortable with his teammates, he'll never break into the first team and get stuck as a substitute player forever. However, in season number 3, PSG would make a record-breaking move and sign global superstar Neymar Jr. for a record-breaking 200 million pounds. This is exactly what Messi needed because with the arrival of Neymar, Messi finally had someone who he could talk to and the instant instantly became friends, allowing Messi to stop being shy and play with more confidence. Under Neymar's guidance, Messi would go on to score 15 goals and get 10 assists to help PSG win the league and he would end the season winning the Copa Golden Boy Trophy for being the best young player in Europe. As season number 3 ends, Messi is now finally playing with full confidence in his abilities and because of the growth medicine PSG gave him, he's 5'7 and ready to take things to the next level. In season number 4, Messi's career would change as he would get called up to captain Argentina for the first time ever as they play in the under-20 Youth World Cup. Here he would team up with Garnacho, Julian Alvarez and Enzo Fernandez to take on the world. Led by Messi, Argentina would easily finish in the top of their group with Messi's going 4 goals and getting 1 assist in the group stage alone. Things would only go up from there as Argentina would knock out the United States, Spain and Germany to find themselves up against England in a penalty shootout for the U20 World Cup. Okay, let's go. Bukayo Saka to start off the penalty shootout. Oh, and he misses it! I can't believe it! Bukayo Saka has missed in another international final. First the Euros, now the U20 World Cup. Julian Alvarez misses too. Okay, this is not going how I planned it to go. Oh my god, Harry Maguire scored. Okay, okay, this is not looking good. Kevin McAllister. Oh, that's too much power. No, 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 no. Oh, he went in! Oh, never mind! I thought he was gonna miss. We're all tied up. Phil Foden, you're going to the right. You're going to the right! I, do I dove that way. I dove that way. This game hates me. Okay, Enzo. Come on, Enzo. Come on, Enzo. Smash it. Smash it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It it's looking bad for Argentina. It's not looking good for Argentina! Are you kidding? Messi has to score here or Argentina will lose the U20 World Cup. The weight of a nation is on Messi's shoulder shoulders, man. Come on, Messi. Come on, Messi! Yes! Perfect! Okay, please, Emmy Martinez, you need to save this. You have to. There's no other option! Emmy Martinez! Okay, now I ask you, Di Maria, can you please clutch up for Argentina? Please don't try anything cheeky. Please don't try anything cheeky. Oh my god! This man is ice cold! Oh my... How... How dare he? Oh my... Bellingham! You are not him, Bellingham! You are not him! Oh my days. The U20 World Cup. It's all up to you, Molina. You can win it right here, Molina. Molina. Molina! No, he chokes! He choked it! Oh my days! Gallagher choked too! What is this penalty shootout? The bodyguard. The bodyguard. It comes down to the bodyguard? I have no words. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes. Oh, he scored! He scored! They've won the U20 World Cup! It was this guy. Him! Out of everyone, he won the cup! Heading into Season 5, Messi would carry the momentum from winning the Youth World Cup into the next season, scoring 20 goals and getting 10 assists to help PSG win the league and make it all the way to the Champions League final where they would face Arsenal and Bukayo Saka. However, for some reason, the PSG manager would bench Messi as he didn't believe that Messi was ready for such a big game. But it ended up working well as Neymar would score twice to lead PSG to the win and win their first ever 
ever Champions League trophy. At the end of the season, Messi was a Ballon d'Or candidate, but he would miss out because he got benched in the final and his teammate Neymar would end up winning the award. To start season 6, Messi was really annoyed that he wasn't able to play in the final last year and he spent the whole summer training which turned out well because Messi would score 30 goals and get 10 assists to cement himself in the starting lineup. Up until this point, Messi is doing pretty well, but in real life, he was already a Ballon d'Or winner, so if Messi wants to become the GOAT, he's gonna have to go even harder. But it's not looking good because Messi and PSG would unexpectedly get knocked out of the group stage of the Champions League. The PSG board was so mad that they fired their manager and brought in a young coach by the name of Pep Guardiola to take over the club. Starting in Season 7, Pep saw the potential in Messi and shook things up by selling Neymar and bringing in Bukayo Saka to move Messi to the center forward position, making Messi essentially the star of the team. This turned out to be a genius move from Pep Guardiola as Messi would finally take the next step and become a world-class player, scoring 40 goals and getting 15 assists to help PSG win the league title once again. But that's not all because the trio of Messi, Saka and Mbappe would demolish European football and power through to the Champions League final where they would face Manchester United and their star man, Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, okay. Champions League final time. Let's go, Messi. It wasn't Messi and PSG, but Manchester United who would strike first in this game. No, no, no. Ronaldo, chill, chill. Chill, chill. Bruno, no, no, no. Oh my god, it's already 1 0. We're already 1 0 down. That was a beautiful assist from Ronaldo. This is not looking good for PSG. Manchester United kept on putting on the pressure, but then out of nowhere, something clicked inside Messi and he went on an absolute alien run that only he could do to help PSG tie the game. Messi, show us magic. Show us some magic. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, my God. oh Mbappe! <laughs> what a run from Messi and what a finish from Mbappe. He was at the right place at the right time. Oh my god, that was amazing. Messi kept it up and tried to give PSG the lead, but unfortunately, Manchester United were just way more clinical. Oh, great tackle. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, they've scored again. They've scored again. But Messi wasn't worried at all because all he had to do was turn on the switch again and show the world some more magic. Messi, oh, look at that dribbling. Look at this close dribbling. Oh my God, oh my God. Messi, Messi in the Champions League final. Oh my God, the audacious chip. Did you see that dribbling? Oh my God, Messi, you've done it again. After that goal, Messi was feeling filthy. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, Messi, you filthy animal. And with the game tied at 2-2, Messi was trying everything to get PSG the win, but nothing was going in and Unana was simply saving everything up until the 90th minute when Messi would get one final chance. Messi, 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 Messi. Oh, in the 90th minute. We're gonna try it one more time. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I have a dream. Messi. Bang! Messi wins it! No UCL! He's done it! He's done it! Lionel Messi! Oh my goodness! That is the goal of the century! The goal! The greatest goal of all time in the 90th minute! Oh my god! I have no words! That's it! Oh, that's it! PSG win the UCL! Messi has his second Champions League trophy! That was, uh, that was amazing, bro. In season number eight, under Pep Guardiola, Messi and PSG would keep up their momentum with Messi scoring 60 goals and getting 20 assists to win the league once again. This time around, they would face Inter Milan in the UCL final, which should be an easy win for PSG, but when you're playing in the Champions League, you should never underestimate your opponent. No, this shouldn't be a problem. This should not be a problem. However, for some reason, Inter Milan were playing like they were on a mission, and in the first 10 minutes, they already had five shots on target. No, 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 no. No! Oh my god, can someone play some defense on this team? And with that much pressure, it was only a matter of time. No, 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 no! That was actually an amazing ball. That was actually an amazing ball. How are we losing to Inter Milan? But there's a reason that PSG made it to the final as well, and Messi wasn't about to go home empty-handed. Great touch. Cut inside, cut inside, cut inside, finish that, finish that, yes! 
there we go. What a banger from Messi. We're right back into the game. And then in the 37th minute, Bukayo Saka would have a chance to put PSG up top. Damn, Saka! No! No, I clicked the button for too long. Saka! 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 Saka should have taken his chance because after this, both teams would pepper each other's goalkeepers, but no one would be able to find the back of the net. No! No, he hit the crossbar! And in the 90th minute, because of a sloppy tackle, PSG's worst nightmare was about to come true. What? Wait, what? For what? Why did he get a yellow? No, I gotta see the replay. I have to see the replay. I have to see. He shot the ball. There's advantage. Are you kidding me? They have a penalty in the 90th minute. Oh my goodness. Is that it? Did we really just lose to Inter Milan? Come on. Oh my God, that's it. That's it. We actually lost. How do we lose to Inter? Nah, that's embarrassing, bro. We should have easily won this game. Messi was devastated that they lost the final, but because of how good his individual season was, he would still win the Ballon d'Or. However, this didn't really matter to Messi because all he really wanted was team success, and in season number nine, he would go crazy and have the best season of his career in hopes of getting PSG back on top. Messi would go on to score 70 goals and get 20 assists to help PSG win the league and the French Cup. PSG were now on the verge of winning the the trouble but first they would have to play Inter Milan once again in the Champions League final and with Messi thirsting for revenge and playing like the best player in the world there was no chance that PSG would underestimate Inter Milan ever again he remembers what happened last year and he's gonna demolish Inter Milan and Messi was serious because in the first 10 minutes he would show that he's not messing around oh he's cooking oh he's cooking oh he's cooking uh and the way Messi was toying with the Inter Milan defense, it was a mystery how the game was still nil-nil. He, he's filthy. He's, an, he's a monster. He's a monster. Lionel Messi. Oh. However, Messi wouldn't give up and he kept on peppering the goal, but it wasn't until the second half that PSG would catch a break. Oh, there it is. There it is. He is inevitable, man. It was only a matter of time. Oh, what a hit from Leo Messi. After that goal, Inter Milan were mad and they did everything to try to score a goal, but Donnarumma is the only reason that PSG still had the lead. Oh no, no, Dude, great D. And because of Donnarumma's amazing goalkeeping, it was enough to give Messi the chance to put this game to bed. Leo Messi, Leo Messi. Leo Messi, Leo Messi, Leo Messi! He does it! He seals the deal for PSG! And surely they've won the Champions League! Let's go! Oh, that's it! Oh, they've won it! Oh, they've won it! Yes! Messi wins his third Champions League! Oh, there's no, uh, there's none other player like him, man. We are perhaps witnessing the greatest player on earth. Heading into season number 10, Messi is now a three-time Ballon d'Or winner and a three-time Champions League winner, and he would continue to improve, which is ridiculous to even think about, because he would score 97 goals and get 30 assists in the calendar year. However, things would take a sudden turn as Pep Guardiola would decide to leave the club and PSG would fall short and get eliminated in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Messi would still still end up winning the Ballon d'Or for his ridiculous stats that season, but deep down, all he cared about was winning trophies with his team, and this led him to be unhappy with his club situation. That's why in season 11, Messi would shock the world and request a transfer, and Barcelona would swoop in with a $300 million bid to bring Lionel Messi to the new camp. Playing alongside players like Pedri, Gavi, and Lewandowski, Messi instantly fell at home and knew he belonged at Barcelona, and he would go on to score 60 goals and get 15 assists to help Barcelona win the league and qualify for next year's Champions League. Messi didn't win the UCL this year, but that's expected because Barcelona weren't in the competition, but scoring 60 goals made him easily a Ballon d'Or favorite, but when it came to the night of the ceremony, he actually lost. And the winner was none other than Cristiano Ronaldo. Turns out that this Ronaldo guy is actually pretty good, and he racked up three Ballon d'Ors, which is getting dangerously close to Messi's four. We all know that Messi always says that he only cares about team success and winning trophies for his team, 
game, but after seeing Ronaldo with his third Ballon d'Or, Messi couldn't help but feel a little bit uncomfortable to think that Ronaldo perhaps may be just as good as him, or perhaps even better. But in season number 12, Messi would get the perfect opportunity to win his fifth Ballon d'Or as it was time for the World Cup once again. And Messi would kick things off in the World Cup by scoring five goals and getting two assists in the group stages, leading Argentina to the knockout stages. However, Messi would have to carry the team as Argentina were not that strong with the only other good player on the team being Di Maria. However, Messi and Di Maria would do amazingly well by scoring a combined six goals and getting six assists to drag Argentina all the way to the World Cup final where they would face off against Germany. All right, the World Cup final against Germany. Oh, this is the biggest test so far of Messi's career. And right out of the gate, Messi and Argentina instantly put on the pressure. I'm gonna drop back to Messi. Oh, Messi on the volley! No, what a save by... Who was that? I don't even know who that is. But it wasn't just the goalkeeper because the German defenders are locking up Argentina's attack. Messi, what are you doing? Why'd you back you that? And it wasn't just the Germans because Emmy Martinez was putting on a fantastic performance as well. Oh, whoever, whoever that was, that was amazing, bro. Eventually, Messi would show his magic and he set up three huge chances for his teammates. But unfortunately, the Argentinian attackers were letting down Messi. Someone make a run. Oh my God. Oh my God. Di Maria. Di Maria. Oh, that was an amazing pass for Messi. From then on out, both goalkeepers were rock solid and made multiple saves each, sending this game into extra time tied at nil-nil. The weight of a nation on his shoulders. Messi, oh, he's choked it. Okay, oh my God, we're getting extra time. We're going to extra time in the World Cup final. And unfortunately for Argentina and Messi, extra time wouldn't go in their favor. No, 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 no. Not like this, not like this, not like this. No! Goretzka! Did they just... Ah. Get that out! Oh my god, Emmy Martinez, where were you? No, no, not another one, not another one, please. Oh my god, oh my god, I just got raboned, and that was all she wrote. Please, oh my god, finally put us out of our misery. We just lost the World Cup final. Once again, Messi has lost another final, and he was devastated that he couldn't get it done for his country, and to make things worse, Ronaldo would win his fourth Ballon d'Or that year. In season 13, as Messi returned to Barcelona, it was clear that he wasn't the same player he was last year. Clearly losing in the World Cup final deeply affected Messi, and he would only go on to score 30 goals and get 5 assists in the season. And without Messi performing at his normal level, Barcelona simply couldn't compete and they would finish 5th in the league and they would get knocked out in the round of 16 of the Champions League and fail to qualify for next season's Champions League as well. And opposite of Messi, Ronaldo was performing at such a high level that he would help Real Madrid win another UCL and win his 5th Ballon d'Or, officially passing Messi. It's now time for season 4 and even though Messi is a four-time Ballon d'Or winner, he is not close to being the GOAT as Ronaldo has more Ballon d'Ors and Messi hasn't won the World Cup yet. But it's not over as Barcelona would bring in Pep Guardiola as the new manager in hopes of Pep being able to motivate Messi and turn things around not just for Barcelona but also for Messi. And that's exactly what Pep would do because it wouldn't take long for Messi to go back to his prime form scoring 50 goals and helping Barcelona win the league and qualifying for next year's Champions League. But how did Pep turn around Messi's career? Well, the truth is, Pep gave Messi a bottle filled with his secret sauce. And legend has it, whoever drinks Pep's secret sauce automatically starts performing at the highest level. Fueled by Pep's secret sauce, in the next season, Messi would score 60 goals to drag Barcelona to the UCL final by beating Chelsea, Real Madrid, and his old club PSG. Messi now suits up to face Atletico Madrid in the final, and after an action-packed full game, Barcelona and Atletico find themselves in a penalty shootout for the Champions League. All right, a penalty shootout. Messi needs this win to revitalize his career. Oh, and Carrasco missed. This is looking good, man. Lewandowski, put us up. Put us up. Do it for Messi. Bang. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Lewandowski. Okay, Griezmann, left. Oh, what is going on? Why is everyone missing? De Jong. Bang. Bro, what is this penalty shootout? Morata, he's going great. I went... He missed two? I, 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 what? I refuse to believe this is real. 
Finally, someone scores. Rafinha, what a goal. Okay, if we save this. Save it. Oh, we can win this. And look who it is stepping up. Lionel Messi. A chance to revitalize his career. He's been at the very top. And he's been at the very bottom. Now he has a chance to bounce back. Messi. Messi. Messi! Yes! He's won it! He's won the Champions League once again! He is back like he never left! Let's go, Messi! Heading into Season 16, it's now a World Cup year, and Messi will suit up for Argentina for the last time ever, as this will be his final World Cup. And with Messi and Ronaldo both tied on four Champions Leagues and five Ballon d'Ors each, if one of them could win the World Cup, they would officially go down as the undisputed GOAT. And it's looking good for Messi because Argentina have a great squad containing players like Julian Alvarez, Di Maria, Enzo Fernandez, and Emi Martinez in the starting 11. But the question still remains, will Messi get revenge for Argentina from 4 years ago and win the World Cup to officially retire as the GOAT? Or will he fall short and have his legacy be lost in the history books along with all the past legends who failed to win the ultimate prize? Well, Messi and Argentina would start off hot by winning their group and with Messi getting 10 goals and 3 assists, Argentina would find themselves in the World Cup final once again, but this time, they would face Portugal and Cristiano Ronaldo. And with Messi and Ronaldo being tied on trophies, it all comes down to this. The Battle of the Goats. Whoever wins here will not only win the World Cup, but the winner will also go down as the greatest footballer of all time. And if you made it this far in the video, please hit the subscribe button because we're trying to get to 1 million subscribers. Thank you. For some reason, Argentina started this game so poorly. Ooh, so close. But on the other side of the pitch, Portugal was destroying Messi's dreams. No, 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 no. Who is that? Who is this guy? But Messi didn't come this far just to lose and there was no way that he was gonna give up. Messi. 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 Messi! Yes! That's how you tie it up. That's how you do it. And with the help of Emmy Martinez, Argentina was able to keep the game tied, but not for long. Get the out! Why'd you let PP score? Messi kept on desperately trying to tie the game for Argentina, but because of the Portuguese keeper, it wasn't gonna be easy. Come on! I need that to go in. And then in the last 10 minutes of the game, we would once again see some Messi magic. Messi, what a run! Messi! 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 In the 83rd minute, he ties it! Is there anyone else who could have done that? And with the game tied in the 90th minute, Messi would get one more chance. Come on. Bang! Ah, oh, he hits the bore! The game would end 2-2, and after a boring extra time with nothing happening, this game was gonna be decided in a penalty shootout. Oh, and Ronaldo goes first. And he scores it too. Okay, I need you to rebuttal, Di Maria. Oh my god, no, this isn't looking good. This is not looking good. Bruno Fernandez. What a pen. Okay, we need a we need a goal here, boys. Yes, yes, McAllister. Yes, this is exactly what we needed. We do need a big save though, man. Ah, I went the wrong way. We need a save. We need a big goal here. Yes. Okay. 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 A save, Emmy. We need a save, man. Emmy, we need a save. Emmy! Messi, it's up to you to keep Argentina alive. You can do this, Messi. I believe in you, Messi. I believe in you! Yes! Yes! Will Rafa Leal win the World Cup and make Ronaldo the GOAT? Or will Emmy Martinez step up for Messi? Yes! Oh, he saved it with his foot! He saved it with his foot! Julian Alvarez, Messi is your GOAT. Messi is your hero. You have to do this. Don't try anything cheeky. Please don't try anything cheeky! Oh my god! Nerves of steel. He's ice cold. Pepe. Pepe, you are not him. You are not him. Enzo Fernandez, when you were a kid, you wrote a letter to Messi, urging him to stay with the national team. Messi is your GOAT. Messi is your hero. Now here you have a chance to prove it all for him and make him the GOAT. The greatest of all time. Can he do it? Yes! There it is! Enzo Fernandez scores and wins Argentina in the World Cup. And most importantly, Enzo Fernandez makes Lionel Messi the undisputed GOAT. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed and you love this video down below as well, click and watch it next. Let's go.